Hi, over here I have a Mesa online UPS, uh, sometimes they called RCT. Anyway, there's many different varieties or front face plates for the exact same UPS. And what I'm going to demonstrate in this video is how to disable that alarm when the power is offline. For example, here is the power cable, it's now unplugged and notice that it's now being fed from batteries and there is no buzzing or no alarm. And even if I switch this off, and now I switch it back on, it will save that setting. I don't have to keep coming back here to uh, switch off that buzzer. So the way to do that is by using the software. Right, so the unit does come with this disc with uh, UPS software, and then it's got this uh, serial cable if you were born in the 1970s like me, or you can use this USB cable. So what I need to do is just install the software, and I'll quickly show you where I got the software from because I'm not using the disc. I'll download it directly from the internet. I just plug in the USB at the back and then I plug this into my computer and I make sure the UPS is on. And now I'll go and show you the software installation and how to disable that buzzer or that alarm. Right, so the software that came with my UPS is called ViewPower. So I'm going to install it from the website because I don't have a CD reader. So over here I go to www.power-software-download.com and on the right hand side here I can choose ViewPower or ViewPower Pro, whichever one. I'm just using the ViewPower and when I click on this it takes me to the download page. So over here are the links for whichever type of software you'll be using. Uh, in this case I'm using Windows and I will click on this download link. It will download the file and then I install it. Over here, there's a user manual, which is also important. And I'll show you why it's important in a second. But the first step is to download and install. Once you've installed the software, it'll open as an HTML page. And the UPS is currently connected to my laptop with the USB. And it's showing the uh, layout of the UPS. You can see that it's even showing the input voltage, the frequency, etc. So you've got some control here via the web page. So I want to shut off the UPS alarm. So I'm going to go to the control panel here and there uh, should come up some settings. There are the settings. And in this case, I want to disable the UPS alarm. So I click disable and now it's asking me for a password. And that is why I suggested that you could download the user manual. Anyway, if you don't download the user manual, the password is administrator, all lowercase. So I just do that and just make sure that the A is a small A and then I can log in and then I disable the UPS alarm. The good part is that even if you power down the UPS or even if you've changed the batteries, the UPS alarm is still disabled. So that is how I've disabled the alarm and I hope that's helpful and thanks for watching and cheers.